Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I am going to paint a Dungeons and Dragons miniature. That's right, we're going to paint the Owlbear. This is part three in a series as I try to work my way towards completion. Uh, Gale Force 9 was kind enough to send me this miniature. It's limited. It's only available in Knowles's Marvelous Pigments Monsters Paints a paint set. I believe it's extremely difficult to get, and I am painting it today. And uh, Gareth has sent me a picture, sort of showing me sort of roughly what it looked like. And I've been working through it, and I haven't done too bad so far. But I, I had real issues and problems with the face. I finally decided what I want to do with the face, and that is what I'm tackling today. Okay, all right. So lots of fine brush work today. Going with the standard brush to start with. And I'm going to go straight with, uh, as it happens, I'm going to go with grey. I decided that the the face really needed to be grey. I was wondering what was wrong with it. And, and I was looking at other pictures and I was saying, okay, no, no, no. I've done what everybody else has done. But I just didn't think that was actually the way I wanted it to be. So I am putting some grey on some of the feathers around the face. Uh, and I'm going to be using, no, that's not the one. I'm going to be using Dungeon Stone. For those of you who are wondering what colour I'm using, that is the colour for today. How's it going, Matt? Hello. I'm pretty sure I've, I've got, yep, it's very light green, so it's a bit hard to make out your name. But if I got your name right, yes, I'm pretty sure it's Matt. It's pretty, pretty sure it's Matt. Okay, so we're doing the Dungeon Grey, and I'm painting some of the feathers around the eyes. That's the plan. And then um, I will move on to other areas, uh, mainly just finishing touches. I would personally, I think that's really most likely. Um, I don't know that I'm going to need to do very much with this, no. There's no thinning required on that one. I'm getting better at it. I was pretty sure it was Matt. Now, I do have uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, the book, and I have been planning to review that book for a while. And here is the problem for me. Um, my review won't be good on it. I, I had a, a, a quick glance at it and I thought, oh my god, is it that, it's that bad? It's that bad? Seriously, it's not a good book. <laughs> it's really bad. So if you guys are, unless you are a fan of Acquisitions Incorporated, and I like watching Acquisitions Incorporated, uh, not the B team so much, but you know, the, the main events, but they're, I've never really liked the, the corporate nature of Acquisitions Incorporated. And this book certainly has that. So if you want to play in that world, this is the book for you. But if you're using it as a player or a dungeon master in your game for other things, it is it is definitely something you want to avoid. Um, and I will get around to explaining in detail in a video exactly why. I feel like it's a shame because there were so many aspects to the uh, Acquisitions Incorporated ideas that I really loved. Uh, one of those being the, the armoured um, beholder. It's sort of like a mechanised beholder that you can control, which of course is way overpowered. And then the statue that they could control and walk around with, and there were a few other... And the, the flying balloon, I thought, wow, well, the flying balloon, yeah, that would be awesome too. But it's not really enough. Cool. P.A. book. Um, yes. It's cool. If it's a, uh, a bad review, I'm all for it. Well, yes, I'm. I'm still. I've. You know what it's been like late, lately. Some of my thumbnails and my titles have been um, pretty outrageous. Um, although I have, have to say I've had a lot of fun doing them. Uh, <laughs> uh, if, if anything, it's been even more fun doing them. Um, but yeah, I just. I looked at it and I was like, oh, there's 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 not an awful lot I can say that's good about this book. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. Okay, I don't know if you guys like what I'm doing here, but that is my plan. I'm aiming for doing the feathers just around where the eyes are. I'm going for a smaller brush, just a layer brush. And I'm just going to see if I can just hit some of the, the feathers over here. And just around the eye, so I'm a little bit closer in. And any little details I couldn't hit before, which I feel like are needing to be br um, grayed, not browned, grayed, Penny Arcade, yeah. Look, I don't have a problem with Penny Arcade. I, I actually enjoy Penny Arcade, and I like Acquisitions Incorporated. But this book, oh, I don't know what they were thinking. I know what they were thinking. They were thinking money. They were thinking this this license, just like Critical Role, we can sell this license, we can stick it in the book like um, Matt Mercer did, and uh, like all the other books, it's going to do well. Yeah, big chance, fat chance, more like fat chance. 
<clears throat> Big Notorious Kid, how's it going? If you aren't having um, fun, then you uh, are doing it wrong. That, that, that's, that's right, that's right. But this, um, this book is appalling. I really was not uh, impressed at all. What was the other thing that was out of the Acquisitions Incorporated, which I was quite excited for to see what they'd done with and whether it would sort of make its way in there. I believe there was a, a number of vehicles. Um, and I know a lot of people were thinking, oh, you know, what about spells? Yes, there are spells in there. But the really strange spells. Eswick, how's it going? Hello there. This this is um, Bones and Crows from uh, YouTube channel. Oh, how's it going, Bones and Crows? Welcome to my Twitch TV uh, stream while well, I do some painting. And for those of you who are Critical Role fans, you do not need to worry. I will be gone and done and dusted before they start up today, uh, since I know that they are playing today. And that will give me an opportunity to go and cook some food, which I need to do, since I need to eat. I've got to eat at some point. All right, I'm gonna just be careful around the eye, and I'm gonna have to redo the eye too much if I can. I'll use the layer brush for that. Uh, dun, 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 what's that big notorious? I'm gonna keep um, trying to get uh, your get you to make it a spotted owl so I can see how it turns out before I do it. It's not going to be a spotted owl. No, no. No spotted owl. I'm not doing a spotted owl. You are you are so, so naughty. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Alright, so go to the smaller brush just to get in there. Now for those of you who are wondering, Fred, really? Is that what you're thinking of doing? Yes, that's exactly my plan. I am going with the grey around the eyes because I feel like that works. Um, now, just to get some grey on that one. And hope, now you'll let me know if I take the miniature out of, uh, out of, out of shop. Hang on, I'm going to just close the door. Should sound pretty fine because I've got the window open and Unless, of course, it starts raining and then we've got some real problems. <laughs> it is New Zealand, so it's possible. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to hit that again with this grey. Just along there. And then back along on the other side where I was trying to finish it up. There we go. A little bit more light today because uh, I don't have a big piece of foam in the way of the window. And I've also got my lamps, so that's sort of helping. Got a bit of a wind blowing, a bit of breeze. Uh, Monday for me, Tuesday, your your time zone. Uh, oh, okay. All right, I get it. It's uh, it's Friday here in New Zealand. Is that what we're talking about? Are we talking about today or are we talking about a different day? If we're talking about a different day, I've got confused. I may have already got confused anyway. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, dear. All right, so that's almost done. I'm going to be moving swiftly today. Today is the day. Today is the day I get it finished so that I can wash it on a different day. And tomorrow I really want to uh, try and assemble that uh, Dungeons and Lasers um, kit that they sent me. I know that a few people have started to put uh, reviews up on it, which is fine. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see just how difficult or easy it is to put those things together. Because I saw, uh, was it um, Nate on WS, WAS20 uh, doing one on it, and I think it was Black Magic sponsored ads, so they're getting paid to do those things. But um, So I, I don't imagine that they necessarily have complete control, but it's not like a repeat customer, so I don't imagine they need to worry too much about that sort of stuff. Okay, so, do 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 do, Kickstarters, I mean, geez, when channels start promoting Kickstarters and they're getting paid, it's sort of like, what was the point in actually uh, watching it other than to see it on a big channel? Okay, all right, so, that's that bit. I am reasonably, I think I'm reasonably happy with the feathers on the chest. So I won't muck around with them anymore. So we'll leave them alone. Um, I'm going to uh, tackle some of the areas where <clears throat> it's uh, 
talons need to be a bit blacker because I've sort of had a bit of colour spill over. I'm actually thinking I might hit that with a different colour. Now what was the colour I was going to use? I was going to use um, Osiog Brown. I don't know if that's necessarily going to work but we're going to give it a go. Since we're waiting for the feathers to sort of, uh, I don't know, was it dry? Dry, the feathers are going to dry. So we'll use the Osiog Brown. This is the this is really just a, basically a um, army painter paint. The Dungeons and Dragons and Alters pigments. That's all it is. Alright, so what do I want? I want that. Do I want that? I think I do. It's the wrong brush. I don't know which brush. Which brush am I grabbing? <laughs> um, $12 free shipping. Finally I will have uh, something to paint. Oh, good. I, I, I am aware that today is not necessarily the best time for people to paint. You know, it's... Friday for you if you're in um, America. Well, most most people have got a Friday right now. Today is the Friday for them. And I am just going to quickly go over some other stones. I'm not really trying to do a lot of work on them. It's just the bigger stones. I'm going to sort of pull out any sections that I really want to be a bit more solid in colour. And then I'm going to leave it alone. And there we go, a little bit more, little bit more colour there. The focus has got to be the owlbear for today, rather than um, stone. Most of that is all going to get sorted out later by just washing, right? I've been um, looking for, I believe that the, the new miniatures are coming out for, what is it, um, WizKids? But I haven't seen it yet. Um, nobody's done a review yet. I'm sure that'll come pretty shortly though. I can't do that sort of thing myself, unfortunately. Whereas kids won't send me stuff. They said they, they would, but it's never happened. Um, and I'm not surprised. I am in New Zealand. And so kind of a big ask. Uh, it's Thursday. Uh, where are you? Are? All right. Okay. It's Thursday. It's, it's Friday. Friday for me. Yeah, it's Friday for me. Thursday for you. Um, I love getting new minis, but I hate uh, seeing them unpainted yet. Yeah, well, I've, I've decided that I'm not going to worry about buying a whole lot of miniatures. Instead, I'm going to go and I'm going to start working my way through all of the miniatures in the Dungeons & Dragons board games that I've got. I already started painting some of them, but I'm going to, I'm going to just pick out the ones that I like the most, and I'm going to just start painting those, and I think that's probably the best way to go. Okay. Let's clean that off. Let's just get it done. Speedy, speedy Gonzalez. So what are we gonna do? Um, am I using the small brush? I oh, know I'm not gonna use a small brush. I'm gonna use the, the gonna use just the standard brush, and we'll see if we can. Is that gonna? Yeah, that's all right. And then around the fingers. I'm not really sold on this idea. But we'll see. One never knows until one tries, correct? And I'm not sure entirely just how much work it's going to be to actually do this as well. It's, that's another factor. Is it going to require me to do a lot of repaint? I don't really want to do a lot of repaint if I can help it. And then underneath, you should be able to see what I'm doing. Talons will still stay uh, black, but this stuff is going to be more for the flesh. Where the pores are. Now, I'm going to sort of blend it where the, the feathers are, where it goes brown. Get it. No. Brush, where are you? <clears throat> Let's get my little towel ready. I need, I need to be ready to towel it. There we go, and back onto it. No mucking around. So I've been unblocking my drain. It was full of um, cat, old cat food and fat and uh, food, eggs, you name it. Oh my gosh, it was disgusting. But I think I may have freed it up. Got myself one of those um, wandangly, wiry things, and I shoved it down there good and deep. Quite a few times. <laughs> oh 
Okay, so we'll come back to that in a second and we'll just give that a wash. I know that kind of looks terrible right now, but I will tidy it up. I'll get a smaller brush in a second. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing Dungeons and Dragons with unpainted miniatures. You don't have to play Dungeons and Dragons with painted miniatures, right? You don't have to play Dungeons and Dragons with miniatures full stop. It's just an option that people can pursue if they want. All right, I feel like this is going to be the more tr troublesome side. Yep. All right, so... Although the other side was not too bad, this side is going to be really difficult to get at. I don't really feel like I'm holding the paintbrush like a paintbrush anymore. I feel like I'm holding it like a, I don't know, squeeze it into the gap. Gardane, how's it going? You are back. Nice to see you. I've noticed that the number of people who are signing on to my Twitch uh, TV account um, is good. It's been growing very, very quickly. Um, for those of you who are wondering what happens to the the replays, well, they're on Twitch TV for, what, 12, 12 14 days, 14 days, because I'm only an affiliate. And then um, I do actually take them and I put them onto YouTube unlisted, and they will become available for people who are insistent and spending vast amount of time painting and want to watch somebody else paint while they talk non-stop which i tend to do quite a lot then um you will be able to access them through my patreon so yeah should work out all right and that'll they'll get all archived basically over on youtube uh unlisted for the patrons and that's really probably the easiest way i don't really want to stick them out as general content <clears throat> Uh, looking good, Fred. Oh, I'm glad you feel it's looking good. I feel like the grey around the eyes has made a huge difference. I know it needs some sort of highlighting, and I will do some highlighting. Don't you worry. The feathers will be... I'll make them try to pop out a little bit. How did you like my uh, golem I posted on Facebook group? I, actually, I thought it was great. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I, I liked it. I did spot it. You, you were painting a whole bunch of... Um, uh, miniatures from the board game, if I remember right. Oh, oh, it's 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 going to be like that, isn't it? I just can't get the brush in between. Oh, we'll just go to a small brush then. You painful thing, you. All right. So um, we'll come back to that color. No, we'll do it now. Now's the time. Stop mucking around, Fred. You fiddler. Do, 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 do. All right, so smaller brush, thin to paint down, and that's too thin. That's, I think that's about right. And now we'll just work our way through here. Uh, I don't know about that, but we'll, we'll fix it later. In other words, I will cheat with a wash. Oh, look at this. Of course, you can't see it. I'm barely able to get at it. Trying to get in there to get this on. Ho, yeah, right. Keep, keep changing the angle. I feel like the top section of that particular hand has got more feathers on it, so I don't want to go and put a lot of this over there. Maybe in between. A little bit. Come on. Flow paint. No, I didn't like that. That's That sucked. What did I just do? I stuffed it. Well, I didn't stuff it. I can fix it. I can fix it. It's called black paint, right? <laughs> a bit of black paint will fix that. Okay, so that's... Just mix that a little bit more. There's just a little bit left in there, so we'll just see if we can just tackle that just a little bit more over here. And what's going on over on this side? Right, I think we'll need some a bit more of this brown. And then we're in business. You. What have we got here? It looks like the... Oh, hi, Darren. How's it going? 
I was wondering, I was wondering when the gang would finally all show up. Just about got the whole bunch. Thank you. I do feel like it is a vast improvement. I, I feel like the grey around the eyes has made a huge improvement compared to what it was like before. It just didn't, it just felt like it was just a big brown bunch of feathers. Which, I mean, to, to be fair, it kind of really is, but... Um, <laughs> Right, round the fingers. More paint. Yeah, there we go. And we just get all of the little detail sections. Oh, come on. You really, I'm, I feel like I'm painting backwards. What am I trying to do? I'm not Japanese. What am I doing with this? I feel like I'm champ <clears throat> See, Hang on, let's just, just a little bit more in there. A little bit more in there. That worked out alright, that sign. It was, was that dumb luck or was that skill? I don't know. And change of angle in between, just a little bit more. And I can't quite see what's going on between the little fingers yeah yep yeah, she's she's working she's working um, light color yes what color was the uh, the primer I used a gray for the primer on this this baby um, usually because it's a uh, it's good for whether you're doing a dark colored miniature or a light colored miniature and I don't have to have more than one primer and right now I do not have gobs of money to throw around so I can't really afford to do that sort of thing <laughs> oh my brush where did you go come here <clears throat> Fred uh, what happened with the um, the earth elemental did I miss the uh, the last live stream um, yes I finished the, um, the earth elemental it got finished um, and I actually I finished processing and uploading it to YouTube um, as a private it will go unlisted um, and be available when I get a chance because it they're really long so it's a lot of time and effort put in to try to make them all work and it's just processing time too you know as uh, as the software has to do their thing and then YouTube's got to do its thing and so they will become available um, in the future to patrons so you can rewatch those if you missed missed, missed one of them And I, I feel like the inside of this uh, miniature looked fine with this. But the, the outside on the top here, I do not like so much. We are going to have to do something with that. Um, maybe that'll get corrected with uh, with a wash or maybe I will have to apply something to it I don't know I'm still deciding but we've still got plenty of time still got plenty of time but yeah all that stuff that like I said everything that goes up on the twitch um, channel is uh, is getting transferred over to YouTube and going un unlisted Bam. all right I don't think I need to necessarily I don't really want that color to be too solid because if it's too solid it's going to look weird I was watching the abyss last night I don't know if people remember that it's quite an old movie and I've, I really enjoy it I had a great time it's very long but it reminds me of um, the fact that some of these actors that I've been watching for years are not that young anymore <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh I've seen him recently and he's he doesn't look like that anymore <laughs> he does in the movie but not in real life <laughs> it's a bit of a shock to the system sometimes I have to say okay so um, I'll clean that up later let's just grab the next color which is a lighter grey. Since I've started with a dark grey, we're going to ditch the, we're going to ditch that colour. No, we don't want that. 
Instead, I'm going to get rid of that brush because I feel like that's going to be too big. I'm going to go to a smaller brush. Um, Fred, did you say you would um, uh, sell these, these, this mini someday? Sell, sell. Nah, no, nah, I, I wasn't planning to sell it. Is, is it? Yeah, is that, yeah, that's what you're working towards, aren't you, Matt? Uh, I see. Uh, dear, you're you're a funny one. No. Do you know? To be fair, I very rarely do I give miniatures away to people if I've painted them. I, I think almost it's extremely unusual. If I have painted them, I don't usually give them away. If they're unpainted or somebody else painted them, then that's something in the past I would have I would have just given them to them. Um, if if it was sort of you know made sense. Uh, but I don't do that with things that I tend to paint uh, and I've got a whole bunch of things I've painted over the years Now I'm going to use this orc gray and um, orc skin, which is a slightly lighter gray supposedly supposedly I'm going to apply that to those feathers where the gray feathers are not the brown <laughs> feathers And I'm going to see if I can't Flat brush. Yep, that's plenty and I'm going to just stroke across the feather. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of a bit more of the paint. I feel like it might be just a bit too much. Let's try it again. Okay. And now just see if we can pull the feather pattern out a bit. The brown feathers are, are showing up fine. But these grey feathers don't really, not currently. Let's uh, turn you around a little bit and come this way. Okay. Does it look better? Yep, it does. Let's do that again on the other side. And look, I am going to hit it again with another grey, which is a bit lighter. What do you use uh, to affix the mini to a bottle? Oh, it's just um, blue tack. I'm using blue tack. Nothing, nothing special. Tear it off when I need to, put it back on when I need to, all done. It's cheap, it's reusable, and uh, reusable is important. I've seen people do, um, you know, glue things into place, but um, I think my, was it my brother who suggested just a bit of blue tag on a bottle and do that. It's worked out pretty well. Okay, so let's just go across the, the crest of the head here. I am only applying small amounts. I'm not doing a lot. So if you can't see what's going on, I totally understand. Okay, so that's that color. I'm going to hit the chest now, do the same sort of thing. And my brother, um, David, not Sam, but I've got another brother, and he does cars, and he's finally starting to put out, um, record his stuff. He does, like, uh, custom builds on cars, which is kind of cool. I've seen some of them, and, you know, like, nobody else does this sort of stuff. Which is amazing. And... Uh, and he would like very much to start a business um, with that hobby, which I can totally understand. He's I mean, he uses like um, an airbrush and other tools. He's pretty pretty high tech. Has special places he gets everything from. Far more um, involved and complicated than I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm not nearly as complicated and involved as he gets. Okay. Now, I've, it kind of goes off to the side, but I, it kind of, is that too far? Too far? No. No. No, no, it's fine. All right, so let's wash out that brush and deal with the next thing, which is... I'm going to hit the tongue again. Well, actually, I'm going to hit the inside of the mouth while I'm waiting for those 
feathers to sort of dry a little bit before I had it, had it with another um, another light brown, not a light brown, a light grey. So I've done the dungeon stone, done the orc skin. Um, we're going to hit it with the the sea grey. I think it's the sea grey. I'm going to hit it with a sea grey, and then I'm going to go with a, a gelatinous blue, which I know sounds ridiculous, but bear with me; it will make sense later. Okay. All right. So. What was I doing? I was doing the inside of the mouth. That's right. I was going to use this osteoid brown for inside the mouth, which I know sounds weird, but for some reason it just popped into my head and I thought that's actually probably just the right color to go inside the mouth in certain places, not the whole thing. So I'll just flip this round and is this paint still moving? I don't need much of it. So as long as it's moving. Okay, so inside. Top section. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted the top section to look a little bit different to the rest of it. So I'll clean that out. We'll do the tongue one more time with that ridiculous pixie dust pink, which was appalling last time. I mean, as a paint, I don't know what they were thinking, but we'll give it a good shake and see if it comes out in any decent form. Well, that'll do. <laughs> I don't want much. And then, uh, is it gonna, f it is so thin, this stuff. It's like painting with yellow. You know what yellow's like. Okay, so. There. And the other side. I'm happy with that. Let's clean that brush out a little bit more. And now, I was going to hit it with some black in some places that needed to have it. So I've got, uh, I'm using my um, Vallejo black for those of you who are wondering. I kind of prefer that. I think that's the way to go. So that's the color I want to use. <laughs> okay. Where am I squirting it into? Somewhere where there's supposed to be black. There it'll do. It's way too much. It's too late now. <laughs> okay, so small movements, just using the black. Let's see how it's moving. Uh, okay, interesting. All right, let's, let's see if it... Okay, I don't think I'm going to have to do too much with this. Way too much black out, but that's, that's not much I can do about that. At least it's not like... Uh, oh. It's not like some of the, the messes and accidents I've had with the Citadel paints in the past. The squeezy bottles, I have to say, I, I much prefer. And just down there, through there. And I need to go along the top. I wasn't sold on it initially, but I am. I'm. I'm beginning to accept the uh, the sort of the the top feathers being slightly black. So we'll we'll keep going with that. That's fine. And using a smaller brush, we're going to just make sure I don't have too much paint. Just tidy it up a bit. Tidy, tidy, tidy. And somehow I've got to make them come out because if I just leave it black, it's just going to look black. So I'm going to hit it with another color. I'm thinking um, when I go over the gray, I will go over the black as well with that uh, that blue I was talking about. I think that's actually the solution. All right, so come on. It's a little bit of the ear that I didn't quite get. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go, coming along nicely. Knew it would, knew it would. What's that, Darren? Every time I see those tiny bottles, I remember how 
uh, disappointed I was in them when uh, I, I got them and uh, did not unbox, did my unboxing video. I really should have uploaded that. Yes, you should have, Darren. You most certainly should have uploaded it. I do understand your frustration in the size of the bottles. I get it completely. Because they are a bit smaller, but I suspect that's because they wanted to get more colours into the set, but you know. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure. Since I never had to pay for it and uh, Gale Force 9 sent it to me, I don't know what it would have been, you know, whether it would have been a, a good buy or not. Certainly it's made life a lot easier for me because I haven't had to buy a lot of paint. In fact, I probably won't have to buy any paint for ages. I was talking to my brother, brother about that and, he, and he's looked at it and he said, dude, you're not going to have to buy any paint for like a very long time. You realize this? And I was like, oh, that's good news. <laughs> okay, so go back over some of the talons that are got bits of color there that shouldn't be there and I'll just tidy them up and I'm not entirely sure if I just want to leave the, the talons like black or hit them with a different color as well still haven't really decided I am I am trying not to get too carried away in and, and, and go for absolute perfect because um, it's not really me anyway and of course there's there's a point where you've just got to say enough's enough right enough's enough there we go that's good and then around that little claw there I feel like that side's working out quite nicely and can I see anything there that's problematic be honest not really okay clean up my brush dun -dun 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 -dun. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I'm ready to do feathers now definitely feel like I'm ready to do feathers um, I do have the other side to do I suppose eh? hang on just a little bit in there change the angle get a different shot see if it no that's fine I don't want to look at it there's that's nothing wrong with that and just around the finger there top of the finger oh there's a little bit that could do with uh, a cleanup uh, oh did i go too far i might have gone too far whoops <laughs> yeah in my pro see this is the thing is when you start cleaning and tidying things up you wind up making a mess in other other areas right <laughs> Um, I special ordered both sets for, um, from my local uh, store just before they were released. Ah, oh, okay. Um, my mints came all wonky, but a, but a, um, it's a blast from the heat gun straightened him out uh, quite well. Well, that's good. Was it just the weapon or was the whole miniature bent? Because that's, that's one of the things you don't want, right? Um, out of mine and hot, um, hot, hot water and reshape, usually wonky weapons. Yeah. Is it just was it with just a wonky weapon or was it a wonky miniature as well in terms of his pose and posture? I try not to get myself caught up in painting um, character miniatures. One because I kind of feel, unless it's for myself, I am not going to paint character miniatures for players. They can deal with that stuff themselves. If they want a painted miniature and get off their ass and buy the miniature with their own money. And then paint it themselves and if I'm dungeon mastering I just want my monsters to look cool and eat them swallowed whole <laughs> I mean I mean um, swallowed whole so that they can have another adventure inside the monster um, <laughs> just because it's fun and because um, I'm a, I am a fan of uh, Pinocchio I think that's a great story. How do we get out of the whale? Um, the whale. Well, let's have a look. What can we do? Did anybody bring some pepper with them? No. Well, let's try something else. Anybody bring some paprika? <laughs> 
Um, it was both the weapon and the mini. It was uh, falling forward 45 degrees. Oh, that's not good. Man, the Albear looks uh, mean. What uh, a great sculpt. It is. It's pretty good. It's not bad. She's good. I'm happy. Um, I am I am unsure about how I feel about this color along the top here. I really am unsure about how I feel about that. But I'm going to leave it and trust that once I wash it, it will look right. But I am not doing that over here. This is, this is staying the way it is. Um, I feel like that was the right move. Okay, so back to the standard brush and we're going to go with another grey because we're trying to pick out those feathers. It's the feather picking out time. Oh, let's try to pick out the feathers. Where are, where's my grey? Okay, so I'm going to use this medium sea grey, the Vallejo medium sea grey. Um, you totally agree. Teleport, that's right. Well, teleport's a problem. You don't need to see where you're going unless, of course, you've got a feeling. No, no, it depends on the teleport spell, right? Teleport's fine, yeah. It's things like Dimension Door that are problematic. All right, so this looks a lot thicker, this paint. So I may have to thin this down. Or maybe not. Okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if I use it. Does anything happen on the feathers? Oh, it's only slight. It is... It is just such a slight change in tone, this this grey, that it is probably going to do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll stop there. We'll skip that. So we're ditching that idea. I'm going straight for the um, gelatinous blue colour. That's this thing. This uh, D and D marvelous pigments gelatinous blue. I feel like that will contrast quite nicely with the, uh, the greys that I've been using. So um, where's another spot that I can use? There's black there, there's that there. I think that's probably about right. Make sure I give it a good, a good hard shake. Shake it, baby, shake it. I'm doing the feathers on, on, <laughs> on the arms individually. You are just playing with me, aren't you? Just playing with me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not really doing that at all. You just try to get me to do that. I know that's, I know what your plan is. <laughs> I know what you're up to. <laughs> okay, so, um, in DDO, the Dimension Door does the, uh, the party, takes the party to entrance of quest. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. That's uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online. I think that's what you're talking about, right? I don't play video games, although I probably would do a lot better if I did um, some video game stuff on my channel. But I can't because it would be the end of my life. I am too easily addicted to that sort of stuff. And you would probably never get videos out of me ever again. And I may well never do any painting of miniatures either. It's just one of those things. Okay, and it's just... I am just using a very small brush with this. And we'll just work my way along the chest and then we'll do the face section. Oh, well, it's, it's certainly an improvement, and I don't want to go white, just harsh white. I think a harsh white would be too much. And this is why I'm using this blue, blue color, because it's so light in color. I feel like it's a good contrast with the gray. And that it will actually work out. I feel like I'm right so far. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if you can actually see what's going on there, but I'm actually pretty happy. That didn't take very much either. I don't have to do very much with the brush at all. That was was that is it that easy? Let's just do these. 
Oh, blimey. Wow. Poor blimey, that was that was so quick. Just a slight man. That was a big improvement. Okay, let's do that again. I might have to wash my brush and do this again, but that made such a big improvement, and it was so quick. Okay, and then the other side. Very nice, very nice. Okay, not, not bad. Not bad at all, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with that. That worked out really well. Um, his plan is for no spots. I'm not doing the spots. <laughs> they get about the spots. Uh, no, no spotted owl. No spots. Such endangered, <laughs> yeah, an endangered spotty owl. <laughs> you are, you're a, you're a naughty one, you. Um, okay, so now we're going to use this color again, and I'm going to, I'm going to hit the black section where the feathers are on the top, and, and because I'm using the same blue as I was using with the other grey area, it should make them stand out a lot. But it should still give it sort of a darkish colour. What do you guys think? Am I onto something or did I make the wrong mis um, make a mistake? I feel like that's actually not bad. I feel like that's actually was the right move. That just my feelings on it. And then along the top. Nice. 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 It's doing that. Do, I'm doing it. It is. It looks good. I th I feel like it, it the black is sort of because it's a darker colour and because I've used that blue that I've used for the highlight, it sort of blends in a little bit with it. It doesn't look quite so harsh. Do you know what I mean? Or well, apart from when I put that on. Let's try that, <laughs> let's try that again. Let's go along the top. Cha, 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 and then over here. Cha, 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 yeah, nice. Yeah. This is not painting, this is like fluffing. I'm a fluffer. I'm a fluffing my little miniature. No, I know that sounds weird. <laughs> um, okay. Now, I am unsure what I want to do with the beak. I, I feel like if I mess with the beak too much and try to make it sort of stick out, it is just going to look wacky. So I am really tempted to leave it alone and not get too carried away with that area. I think that's my first instinct in terms of that. I don't really think I need to do very much with the talons on the feet. They look like they're all perfectly fine. So that's that's a miracle. When do I ever get to a point where things seem to be falling into place? Oh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. But I was a little bit worried, and I feel like that, is, that has made a huge improvement. It actually looks like an owl bear that I would like to have around. Um, I thought it was only available with the paint set mat. Yeah, I believe it is. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe you can get it individually. I, I don't think you can, though. Um, I see it in a video. seemed to me to uh, be a miniature you can buy. If a special buy, uh, there's a miniature that looks very similar, but I don't think it's the same thing. It's grand, Grandpa Albia. I Do you feel like it's a Grandpa Albia? Does it really look like a Grandpa Albia? Let's have a quick look. Let's see if it looks like a grand. Because I feel like that is actually good. I feel like I don't need to deal with the feathers. The feathers do actually have some highlighting there 
and I was worried about it last week, but I actually am not worried about it right now. Um, this color here, <laughs> still not sold on it. So I may, I may just bring in like a light brown to sort of, yeah, let's try blending that just quickly. I don't know that I like the way it is. It, it just, it's bothering me just a little bit. Uh, the Bones Black series Albert from Reaper is similar, but uh, yeah, it's not the same thing. Okay. So where is this? Tan, tan Earth. We'll try the Tan Earth because I was using it before. This is Vallejo Tan Earth. Ah, the Vallejo tan, tan Earth, and we're going to try to sort out around those fingers because I don't like what's going on there. So, um, really? You're not going to come out? Do I shake you again? Uh, Come on, ball bearing, do your work, do your work. <laughs> All right, okay. Let us um, let us go small brush, so I can control where I stick everything, and and I'm aiming for tidy up, with the anticipation that a lot of the fix up will occur with the wash. Okay, so here. A little bit. Okay, all right. Okay, so that. Can I see it? Just a little bit. Just a teeny weeny bit. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. That's actually going to work out. I'm going to just hit the top surface of those fingers with this brown. And it is just helping it blend in with the feathers. That that's a, that's a surprising development. But yeah, I, I feel like it's definitely working out. So I don't really need to do very much there. So I won't. But those fingers there on the top here look significantly better. with that brown there, rather than that lighter colour. Don't you think? I think it does. And I, I think the lighter colour underneath is fine, and I, it is it is all going to sort of meld together quite nicely. BAM! Um, where do you live again, Matt? Ah, ah. I, I've, I've, I was sorry I was not paying attention to the uh, the chat. You guys are having a good old time in there. So let's have a good, let's do the spin time because I feel like she's there. I feel like she's so close to being spot on. So let's give you a good look um, at it so you can see what's going on. I will, uh, I think I will definitely post some photos of it. Um, and I will do like a follow-up video on YouTube so you can see the final product, you know, um, do, give it a spin, do the, do the round. So that is the Albear. It's not very complicated to do in terms of the feathers on the back, I know, or I'm aware. And then the, you can see the, the feathers on top, bit of grey, bit of blue, and some black. And it, I feel, feel like it's just, it's not as harsh as just a straight old black. And the mouth, the tongue, I'm not too worried about. The eyes are fine. Got the little pupils in there. And, yeah. So that, that has actually turned out pretty good, if you ask me. I am actually reasonably happy with that little sucker. He's, um, he's been a bit of a worry, you know. Uh, I was like, oh, I, I, you know, it got, they gave me, it, gave it to me. I need to do a good job. I can't just do a, a real botch job on this thing. I actually have to get it together, right? So I have tried really hard to make sure I did a decent job. Um, let's go through the chat real quick. Quick, the grey on the um, um, head, uh, making dumb jokes, taking anything I say with a uh, micro grain of salt. No, 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 no. The um, the grey on the top actually worked out well. I actually think it's going to be great. 
you can get this Albert on eBay sometimes. Ah, okay. So it'll be it'll still it'll be the limited version, but somebody's probably selling it for God knows how much. Um, there's only fifty dollar ones left. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty pretty brutal. You can just about paint um, buy the whole paint set for that um, nowadays. So <laughs> ah, there. It is a unique Albert, isn't it? And uh, Matt thinks it looks good. Okay, and um, Garda Ga Garna Dane, yep, you think it's good. Awesome, Random Hero. Hello, Random Hero. I didn't notice you. Thank you for um, chiming in. This is out of the Knowles's uh, Marvelous Pigments Monster Paint Set. It comes with the paints, and you get this miniature. So yeah. So I'm going to say my normal stuff, which is thank you for watching. It's been an awesome time. Um, if you are into YouTube, I'm on uh, YouTube uh, most of the week. Uh, today and tomorrow I'm on Twitch TV. And um, so I will be around tomorrow for those of you who want to hang out and paint. Um, at about the same time, I might be doing the Dungeons and Lasers assembly just because I've got it and I thought I would give it a go. Um, I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon, dungeon masters for Dungeons and Dragons over on YouTube if you're interested on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you're welcome to go and check those out. I, all of the uh, live streams stay on Twitch TV for about 14 days and then I do uh, put them over to um, YouTube but they go unlisted so you, you have to be a patron to access them. Um, now, I'm going to say my normal stuff which is if you want to support the channel, I'm on Patreon. So you can support me, so I keep doing this sort of stuff over on Patreon. Um, I'm also, I've got a uh, affiliate links to the Book Depository and Amazon over on my YouTube channel. And I also have a merchandise shelf, which is on Twitch TV and YouTube. So all different ways you can support me if you are interested in some way. That's cool. And if you don't, just keep coming back and hanging out with me, which is fine too, not a problem. Um, make sure to share, like, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Uh, if you're on Twitch TV, it's the follow, the heart button. Make sure to click that little thing so you can follow me so you know when I'm on. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.